Hi, my name is Natalia Bilakunova and I'm certified natural health professional. Today I would like to talk about how to recognize harmful ingredients in packaged grocery foods. Most of the packaged food contains one or more harmful chemicals that can undermine your health. We are going to look at four ingredients today. Trans fats, artificial colorings, artificial flavorings, and MSG. Let's look at one of the most common products that most American people eat for breakfast, cereal. If you look at the back of the bag, you're gonna find section ingredients. And when you read the ingredients, the rule of thumb here is, if you cannot pronounce it, don't eat it. So let's find trans fat here. If you look at the top of the bag where it says nutrition facts, you'll see sign trans fat zero. Does it really mean that there is no trans fat in this product? Not really. The FDA allows certain amount of trans fat in the food without having mentioned it on the label. So how can you recognize it? You go down and look at the ingredients and look for the words such as hydrogenated or partially hydrogenated oils, which is actually means trans fat. And trans fats is the worst kind of fat you can get, much worse than saturated fat. It really increases the risk of coronary heart disease. So next, let's look at artificial and natural flavors. Most of the processed food that you buy today come with artificial and natural flavors. In this product, you can see it's uh, blueberry, cherry, orange, lemon, and some other uh, artificial flavorings and natural flavorings. So what are they artificial flavorings? They are simply a mixture of chemicals that mimic the flavor of natural, real food. And they have taste and smell components. So they make processed food taste and smell like real food. The FDA does not require companies to disclose the ingredients of artificial flavors themselves. And natural flavors does not really mean more healthier or better flavors. Natural flavors and artificial flavors actually manufactured at the same chemical plants now. The place which most of the people wouldn't associate with mother nature. So we looked at artificial flavorings so far. Let's look at artificial colorings now. In this case, you can see it's yellow six, red 40, yellow five. Those are all artificial colorings, which are approved by the FDA and they are derived from petroleum, acetone and coal tars. Many of these additives were banned by Food Standard Agency in Europe after many parents complained that their children suffered from mood swings after consuming bright and colorful sweets, cakes and drinks. The researchers of Southampton University had warned that there were at least seven additives as harmful as lead in petrol, which was banned after it proved to lower children's IQ by five points. The research in magazine called Lance found evidence that artificial additives worsen the behavior of normal children as well as those diagnosed with ADHD. Many colors have been already banned here in the United States even after being used for many years when they were proven to be carcinogenic. Last but not least, MSG or monosodium glutamate which usually found in the ingredients section. It says monosodium glutamate, two words. Most of the processed food has MSG, commonly found usually in canned food, Chinese food, soups and processed meats and other processed products. I can go on and on about the harmful effects of this one, but the FDA have a different opinion about it. After gathering scientific data about safety of glutamate, it came to the conclusion in 1995 that MSG is safe for human consumption. But the FDA acknowledged 
that some people have short-term reaction to MSG and it even has a name MSG symptom complex and it includes headache, flushing, sweating, sense of facial pressure or tightness, numbness, tingling or burning in or around the mouth, rapid fluttering, heartbeats, which is heart palpations, chest pain, shortness of breath, nausea, weakness and more. If you would like to know more about harmful side effects of these four ingredients we talked about today, please visit us at myspace.com slash lifeisupplements. Thank you and be well.